Okay, now guys, we're going to build the first part of the reverse foot, which is actually the reverse foot hierarchy. This is a simple version. Now, uh, we're just using a cut-up version of the Morpheus rig here, so, you know, this is uh, from week one. A uh, very simple rig uh, that we've we've made for him. Now, I've disabled the, the, simple, the very simple rig from week one, and I've disabled the IK, taken it off, just deleted it. And um, we've also just now got a very simple chain through the legs, so it's just a hip joint, a knee joint, an ankle joint, a ball joint, and a toe joint right at the end here. So, so an ultra simple one, these bits of geometry that cut off are just parents into those. So, first, the first step of making this uh, simple reverse foot is to duplicate or is to create another hierarchy identically to this one. So, the way we can do it is we can just duplicate it, so we go up to our menu, go edit, duplicate and that will duplicate that uh, in our hierarchy if we hit F now we can find it down here it's sort of like buried in there you just want to unparent that out of the hierarchy so we can sh hit shift P to unparent that into the world and we can just close up that rig again so um, I've got a couple of layers down here one of them just displays uh, all the rigging controls that are existing and the other one displays the geo so we can switch both of those off and now what we can see, what we're left with is just this new stuff that we've created. Uh, I've also got those IK effectors sort of hanging out there that we'll hook up later on. Okay, so now we've got this simple reverse foot. Uh, well, we don't. it's not a reverse foot, it's identical to the main rig now. We just want to unparent everything, so we're going to hit Shift-P, that's to unparent. And so now we have all of our different... Um, different uh, joints all sitting here by themselves. I'm going to rename them at this stage uh, nice and quickly. These are not skin joints. They are, um, we can just put reverse foot for RF, RF, ankle RF, toe RF, ball RF. Okay, so these are our, our pivot points that we're going to be using. Now, <coughs> We need an extra joint back here for the heel, so easiest way to do this is simply to duplicate one of these joints. I've just picked the toe, and we can duplicate that. Now in world coordinates, so not in, in world coordinates, sorry, in the local object coordinates, we can kind of move this guy back. Now, just trying to show the, this why in a second, and that just keeps everything kind of like in a straight line. If we're in, hold down W key, be in object mode. Okay, so let's move that to the back of the foot here somewhere. And what we want to do is really place that right where the back heel would go. So by showing the geo, we can actually see where the foot will be. And we can move that back until it's in the back of the geo. Just making sure to keep a fairly straight line there uh, is pretty good. So just uh, unhide that geo layer again, and we're left with this. Now what we want to do is uh, link all these joints together, but not the way they were before. So before we had the ankle as the parent and uh, the ball and then the toe. Now just before I move on, let's also rename this heel. So we call this heel RF, call it left. Okay, um, now we want the heel to be the parent. So we're going to go heel first, uh, then the toe. So we're going to go the toe to the heel. That way it makes the heel the parent. We're going to go to the ball to the toe hit P, and the ankle to the ball, hit P again. And now we have our reverse foot set up, and you can sort of see how this works, is that um, as we move this guy around, uh, everything moves, and we can make him tap his toe, for example, because his pivot will be at the back of his foot here, so we can make him tap his toe. Um, the toe pivot will just pivot up, so you can pivot off his toe, ignoring this joint because um, our, our regular foot will just be following these guys. Uh, we have a ball one, so that's for when he steps off his toe. It's a nice ball joint. And the ankle just sits there as a dummy for now. We don't actually really touch that at all. It's just what the regular foot snaps to. So that's the first step. We can bring back um, everything else. Uh, just check that you've got uh, two objects that should be in much the same position. Just check that you've got everything lined up still. Uh, and that's the first step of building the simple reverse foot.